<laughs> hey guys, so my name's Peter Nichols, and it's sunny out again, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what I know about the tar sands. So there's a very large reserve of tar sands in Canada, in Alberta specifically, called the Athabasca Tar Sands, I think Basin they put after it. Uh, and that's normally the consistency of peanut butter, um, so it's not oil, per se. Uh, to get at it and ship it, first they need to clear-cut trees. So they're talking about clear-cutting about the size of New York State to Florida to the United Kingdom, the different sizes I've heard. Then they need to remove a significant amount of topsoil, roughly 100 feet. Then they need to dilute it in chemicals. So it's called diluted bitumen, what they're shipping through the pipeline. Um, those chemicals make it so when this spills, it sinks to the bottom of the water table instead of floating on top like we've all seen oil do. And obviously something on, that's on the bottom of the water table is harder to clean up because we can't breathe underwater. Um, so after they get it all processed, they're going to put it in a pipeline and all pipelines fail. TransCanada itself is willing to risk one spill every nine years. That's what they're paying insurance on. Um, we can't afford one spill because one spill messes us up for way longer than nine years. Their first year of having the Keystone One pipeline, which they already have going, uh, they had 12 spills. So it's not just like a once every nine year thing. Uh, so their insurance company should probably up their rates a lot. Um, so once they put it in the pipeline, it's gonna risk spilling this awful stuff, diluted bitumen, into a number of America's rivers. It goes right through America's heartland the Ogal Walla Aquifer in Nebraska. Then it goes into Texas over more aquifers. Then it makes it down to the refineries in Houston where it's gonna be sold on the global market. So this isn't even for Americans. This is for the global market. So it's gonna hike, it's gonna hike our gas prices and stuff like that. It's not gonna reduce them. Any jobs that come from this are gonna be temporary. The steel that's used for the pipeline itself is being imported from China, so it's not helping American steel workers, so unions should get on board with stopping this thing. And um, other than that, that's like specifically the pipeline stuff, it makes no sense to be extracting more fossil fuels from the earth right now. It makes no sense. We need to be investing away from that stuff and investing in small farms is about the only thing I can think of. Um, and that's kind of where it's at. If you guys want to learn more about why it makes no sense, please go to 350.org. Those folks are really good. Or tarsandsblockade.org. Those folks are doing great things. Um, other than that, find someone who is creating more fossil fuel infrastructure and stop them. That's all I have to say. Awesome. Thank you.